Okay, in this problem we have a football and it's kicked with an initial velocity that's given. Gives you the angle <coughs> at which it's kicked with the horizontal. And you're asked to determine the time of flight, the horizontal distance, and the peak height of the football. So once again, I'm going to start out with a, a drawing here. I've got the ground, I'm presuming, and there's some little football that is kicked at a 45 degree angle, it says in the problem. And this is 45 degrees. And um, it gives you what that initial velocity is. It says it's 25 meters per second. Now we don't, we don't exactly know, but it, it, that you must presume that the velocity is at the angle that it tells you with the horizon. So that's, the, that's how I've drawn the vector like this. So the football takes off at this angle, and it's asking you to determine time of flight, the horizontal distance, and the peak height of the football. Okay, so let's just kind of draw some pictures here. We know that the football, it's going to be a projectile motion. It's going to go up like this, and it's going to come down very symmetrically, you know, given no strange wind or anything like that. So this is meant to be a symmetrical up and down uh, up and down uh, parabola and um, oh so uh, so the, the the parabola is is up and down like this the time of flight is the time that it takes to um, leave the ground here and then return here that would be the time of flight um, the horizontal distance obviously if we want to measure of distance, we would probably start here and measure how far it moves in this direction. And then the peak height of the football, would, so that would probably be measured from here till it goes up to zero velocity in, in the vertical direction here, and then heads back down. So what we know about this is that, okay, if we stop, let's see, time of flight. Let's start there. How would we know time of flight? Well, if we knew the exact horizontal velocity, we couldn't exactly get the time of flight because we know the time of flight, what it de does it depend on? Well, it depends on going up and down, essentially. And once again, we've got our good friend gravity involved in this because the gravity is pulling on this guy. And if we were to actually look at the location of the ball, we know that the, the, the marks are going to get uh, the shorter distance together as they go. Uh, something like this, maybe, maybe like this. Okay, I'm just kind of guessing. Now, we also remember that it's going to be symmetric on this side. So this would be over here, this guy would be over here, and then back down here. So we know the, the velocity vector in the, in the vertical direction is going to be big, smaller, smaller, drops to zero, and then it turns around and repeats itself. So um, if we were to write the equation for velocity, we know that that is equal to uh, the velocity equals um, velocity final, final equals v initial i plus a T. Now, once again, all of these things are measuring vectors or, or looking at vectors, so we have to define for ourselves the, our um, reference, our frame of reference. And what I'd like to suggest is that we pick something on the ground like this. So we say that we start on the ground. Okay, well, let's really put it on the ground. And um, let's measure in the plus y direction, plus y. And we'll call our, we're going to call our velocity and our distance in the vertical direction, the, uh, the plus y, and this is 0, and this will be minus y. So we know that the, the vector for acceleration for, from gravity is now, since this is the flux direction, we know it's, it's really pulling in this direction. So the, we know that the acceleration due to gravity is in this direction. So this is a negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So um, we know that 
at this very top point right here, let's say we're trying to get the time it takes to go up and down. We don't know up and down, but we do know that when it gets to this point right here, the velocity is going to drop to zero. We know the initial velocity from this component, and we know this is this initial velocity is equal to the the y component, uh, and the final velocity up at this point is zero. So this equation we can rewrite this equation as uh, zero final velocity equals the initial velocity, which is 25 meters per second times the cosine of 45 degrees. We're going to s plus negative 9.8 or minus 9.8 meters per second squared times time, which we're trying to find to get to the top. So if we rearrange this, I'm just going to re remind you that in a 45, uh, in a 45, 90 tr triangle, uh, this is one, 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 and the square root of two. So I think you're given the the this actual uh, hypotenuse. So the the side. The side here would be uh, the 20, this is 25 meters per second. So this is 25 meters per second, and we would divide that by the square root of 2 to get that value. So um, if we solve this equation for time, which I, I know you can do, we'll get the time is equal to, let me just... Uh, do that um, over 9.8 meters per second squared. Uh, it's going to be uh, 25 over the square root of 2 meters per second. And what we have is the meters cancels. The second, one of the seconds cancels, and this second moves up here. So we've got, I will do this with my calculator, 25 divided by 9.8 divided by 2. What I get is, wow, whoa, I can't read that. I can't read that. It looks like 1.8. That Does that sound right? Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's about right. So time equals 1.8 seconds. Now, how do I know it's about right? 25 by, divided by 10 is about 2.5 divided by square root of 2, which is 1. Point, what is that? 1.4. So 2.5 by 1.4 is about 1.8. Good. So time is 1.8 seconds, and that is the time to get from the the initial point here to the top. So I know the total the total time of flight is double that because it takes an additional 1. Seconds, 8 seconds to get from here to here. So let's write that down. The, the time of flight, uh, different color here, the time of flight is going to be equal to uh, uh, t time of flight total is 1.8 times 2 or 3.6 seconds equals t total. How many significance figures did I have at the start? I had two in the 25, and so I still have two here, 3.6, so I'm pretty good.